Hi, I'm Rosie. Yay, I'm back on YouTube. Welcome to my channel, where I look into what's going on intuitively in the world, from the political to the personal. You can book personal readings on my website, rosieinsights.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome, Rose's Like Investigator. So, it's just a really quick intro. Um, today we have recorded uh, an episode that's a little different from the recent ones. There, we're not going over specific news. We're just checking what is happening for each of the main characters of the story over this week, over the course of the week, and. At the beginning, you have a message from Corina about Thanksgiving, and there are two we two affirmation recordings at the end. One from Corina, um, a meditation about Kamala's inauguration, and then my version, which is like using an AI voice. Okay, and I am going to upload it, upload these files separate separately that you can download and listen to if you want. I mean, you can always come back to the video, but you can also just download the audio separately. Okay, so that's it. We'll come back with news tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello everybody. I wanted to give a little bit of a guided message going into this week of Thanksgiving. We know this week is going to be challenging for some, joyous for others, and it may cause trauma, it may trigger PTSD, and maybe it's just joy. What I want to say is keep your boundaries, you are allowed to have them. You are allowed to feel how you want to feel. You are allowed to do and not do whatever you feel in your heart. Do not let others, whether it's family, friends, clergy, news, whatever, influence you in a way that would bring any fear, trauma, or sadness to yourself. This is a time that we are asked, as Rosie echoed, to go back to our internal selves, not let the outside influences in ways that would cause stress on ourselves. Please know that we are in a time of great change. As we continue to move forward, everybody will have the chance of their own evolution and enlightenment. Some have already reached that point. Those are the ones that are helping move through these times into the next Part of our journeys. Each person has a role to play. Some are more enlightened. Some need to be enlightened. It's not for us to judge where people are in their own journeys, whether that's family, friends, whoever it may be. We need to understand it is okay to have our boundaries and cut out people that may have caused you stress, but please know that those people are now about to go through their own evolution. It may, some people may heal instantly. Some people may take a lot of time. We need to exercise grace in every aspect of our own lives for ourselves 
and others. As we move through future times, there will be a chance for healing. That will be up to each individual to accept or not accept. It's okay for you to make your own decisions on how you move forward. Many blessings to you all as we move through these tumultuous times. Please know that you are being guided and protected in ways that you will never know. Please move through these times with as much joy in your heart as you can find. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome, Rosie and Karina Psych Investigators. Hello. hello. So, okay. So, so just want to say today's episode is going to be a little bit different. We had uh, Karina's Thanksgiving message. I'm going to add Karina's affirmation at the end. So, uh, related to the com the conversation we had about affirmations for Kamala. Um, okay, so anything, okay, Gwen, anything you would like to, you know, since you created anything that you'd like to add about them uh, or the, the audience? No, I think that, um, I think that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Okay. I can't think of anything at the moment. Maybe something will come as we start talking, but oh okay. So also, but just so you guys know, I'm going to put the affirmation for Corinna at the end of the video. And so you can skip to that part later or earlier, whichever you prefer. And also I'm going to upload it so that you can if this is optional, of course. But if you do want to have it on your phone so you can play it, replay it, um, I'm gonna link. The, the download link at the bottom of the video. Okay, when you see where the title is, you click on it and it, it should be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And right. actually, I do want to say one thing. It's just mm -hmm. very basic. Mm -hmm. It's only four minutes. It's very basic so that you can use your own mind mm -hmm. to create what you want to see. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. long as we're all on the same pick, you know, the same mm -hmm. inauguration we see. Mm -hmm. So just stick to the vision. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, okay. So that's it, right, Karina? Like for mm -hmm. your announcements? Okay. All right. So, so let's get started. So today we're not going to have, for the first time in such a long time, we're not going to have specific news. Um, for, for, I mean, first of all, it's Sunday. Uh, and, and also, I haven't seen a ton of news to, to cover that are like urgent. I think yesterday's video was so intense. If you're looking for the news and what's going on, that was very in-depth. So we're just going to go through what's going on for the week for the various players here. Right, Marina? Mm -hmm. right, and then we'll get, so get, I'm going to get started. Hold on. Am I sharing? Oh, that's right. I am sharing. I didn't realize. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, okay. So, all right, so this week for Kamala, let's see us, where are we? Oh, wait, okay, so my, oh, wait, where did I am I? Okay. Mm, okay, sorry, now I think it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. It is sharing, okay, that's right, share screen sharing, okay, let's see. All right, good, okay. So, okay, so here we are. Um, is it not showing? Oh, it's okay. You know what? It's fine. Okay. So so let's see. So what's what's happening this week for Kamala? And by the way, just, just do a little quick intro, Karina. And I had talked about some of your comments. Several of you have mentioned that you had watched some other channel that was talking about Karina. Sorry, K Kamala in Hawaii and <laughs> her facial issues. And so we both came to the conclusion that it's her time. It's none of her. You know what I mean? Like it's she could be doing many things, but it's not for us to necessarily look into it too much okay so but we still want to see what's happening that relates to Kamala not her personal life or anything like that just in general news or or right Karina mm -hmm. think what do just you think? to see if we can see anything for the week yeah yeah okay okay mm -hmm. so 
see what's going on with Kamala now in, the, in this week. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so, oh, so no, I just saw her with an interesting, the VP, a Navy pantsuit, and I see her in a room with school kids as if she's doing some, she is likely still in Hawaii, but doing that, or is she, because she was going to come back, I don't know, and the point is, like, I see her in the school, like, it's with school um, kids, young kids. Um, and then she's giving some presentation to the kids, but then I see that she has, you know, when you have the, I guess it's a secret service or whoever, like they have the thing on the ear. Communicate. Whoa. So, so did you say, whoa, was it? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Wait. Is it, hold on. You just described something. Okay. And then I hear her, they're set, they're keeping her updated with what's going on. That was just, in other words, she's not meeting with anybody about anything. Related to that event, but she's being updated. So that's what I got. Okay. Can I just say something about what you just got? Uh huh. Before I even say what I just got. Mm -hmm. So, what you just got and what you described to me, mm. do you remember George Bush sitting in a classroom reading yes. to children yes. when he I, got the very signal well. that 9 11 happened? Uh huh. Yes, exactly. That Exactly. Those little kids like that. Exactly. That's what I saw when you said that. So she's getting some sort of information. Things are going down. Really? Oh, that's which what... what she, she's in that room getting some information. So what I saw too was the same, you know, maybe it's because we always see in that blue pantsuit, but there was fire under her feet. Mm. Like, fire literally fire under her feet but in a good way it was like her power her fire like mm. like and then I heard things are about to get lit is what I heard and I saw her face mm. and it was that same side eye about to move on you mothers kind of mm. look mm. so Wow. Okay. I think she has a week full of information, but yet, you know how we talked earlier, we've kind of felt like this next week might be a little bit silent, like mm -hmm. not, not a ton of stuff. Mm. That's also what I felt. It's like that kind of a silent week. Okay. Okay. But just to clarify something, when you said the thing about, because I remember that because I watched so many of these documentaries, 9-11, I remember that so well, that scene, because it was, there was somebody filming it. But what I want to clarify or ask you about is that, to me, what stayed on my mind about the Bush scene is that it was a public event that was happening. And then it was this caught, caught, caught almost a private moment. But what I understood here is that nothing public is happening this upcoming. Just to clarify, do you pick up on something mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. or mm -mm. no? No, she was getting information. That's why to me, that's what that scene meant, because he was being told this massive thing as he's sitting there reading. You know okay. what I mean? That's what that meant for me. Oh, I see. Okay, good. That oh, she I was receiving some massive information while okay. she's doing this public event. Sort yes. Of. Okay. Yeah. That's okay, the, how it came through to me as you were saying. It was like, man, and my body lit up. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense, actually. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the way she's being interrupted. Like she's doing something else. Not that mm -hmm. the, the kids is like super, you know, there's other things that are, that are relevant to the I guess the security of the nation, right? But it's it's relevant, right? It makes sense. So in other words, things are happening behind the scenes. Exactly. So and it would be that same size of, you know, obviously it'd be bigger even, but it's as bombastic as that event was. Mm, okay. Right. Yeah. So I felt that. I felt okay, that. Good. That's why I went, whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow, just that okay. was interesting. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, me there. It was cool. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's it for Kamala, right? Yeah. Pause.
Okay, so next, next. Okay, so this week for President Biden. Yeah. What do we pick up for President Biden this week? He's extremely busy putting, it's like he, I see him, like he, in the, you know what? It's the situation room. He's got, it's the intel. He's sitting there looking at it all. It's about, hmm? it's hmm. about, okay. It's about his week is like her week. Hmm. Only he's really, really busy with all this coming in. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see him in the in the same situation room, and that's where they're all at. Mm. Okay. 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 So, all right. So, oh, so what I picked up is that I see him signing like like a. And I see this missile. So he may be signing more missiles for Ukraine to use against Russia. I see him also wearing the aviator sunglasses, which I think to me, and then like being almost getting into, but I don't think he's doing it literally. Like it was going back to the uh, Top Gun movie. Mm -hmm. have those airplanes and he's like wearing that, those aviator sunglasses. But he's almost like in a, in a not a park, but kind of almost taking pictures as if he's going to these airplanes, the supersonic, whatever you call them, something like that. That's yeah. what I'm that he's authorizing. Another thing that I got is that he's high-fiving with General Austin, the head of the Department of Defense. So like, yay, hey, hey, go, woo, woo, like this. I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> so, so it's saying a lot of saying, yeah, there's a lot of military activity, huh? And I see, oh, now it gives me contrast. We do have their names in the future, in the, in the next slides. But he's like so happy and so confident. And then I see the next thing. It shows me that Biden, that Putin, while Biden is so happy, Putin is so upset. Mm -hmm. That's the week for them. So it's saying that it's saying that one one goes up and the other is really going down. So losing losing control and really losing a war, a war, one of the many that they're you know involved in. Mm -hmm. So interesting right yeah yep. okay. and we've always seen that remember with the plane when they we they the good mm -hmm. go up the bad go down yes yes interesting okay all right so now we're going to this week for trump so, <laughs> so that's that's not i don't even think i need to look too hard into this one so what's going on i don't know he just i'll let you you know it's so funny that the image I got was you know the the you know the photo very famous photo of him right after the meeting with in his silk hell sinky with Putin. Yeah. And his like yeah. that. And the same exact body language today. Mm -hmm. And I see that that there is so someone had left a message that I was like. And then I thought it was like, oh, come on, just just think through it. I thought to myself, I was like, oh, what if Trump was told or he was, if the Dutch person, Mark Rutte, had told him that he knows what he's doing, why is he still nominating people? And I thought to myself, come on, first of all, I don't think that the Rutte person said, hey, we know we, what you did. I believe yeah. what he said is like, we have picked up the pings from mm -hmm. the supplies that have, they may have done something to the election. That's enough. I don't think he was like, hey, we're going to get like nothing like that. One yeah. and two, it shows me that the names keep coming, but he's not the one even doing the picking. I feel like it's all the teams mm -hmm. around him. So it's not as if Trump, as we know, Trump is not a very hardworking person anyway. So it's not as if he's uh, doing the hard work of calling or, or you know, it's just... <laughs> Uh, doesn't he's mean not doing anything, anything. Right? He's just, it's to me, he's just a clown, like the head clown. Yeah, so, but it's, yeah. it shows that the body. So also, I get that the body language indicates to me that Putin is in charge of him, right, Karina? Like that yeah. he's slumped. Yeah, that's all I can see. That's all I pick up of him is, you know, even for this last week, I can't pick up anything other than him just slouched 
like the, like you just showed his mm-hmm. head's kind of down and it's even his words are like he's like uh, 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 you know he's not in charge he's not there his facilities are going they're pumping him full of whatever they're pumping him full of when they need him mm-hmm. it's just his energy is really really down mm-hmm. he knows he's defeated he's defeated in every aspect by mm-hmm. everybody he's backed in again i hear He's backed into the corner he put himself in. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, that's good. Right, Quina? That's yeah, good. And, yeah. And for once, now he's starting to not be able to control that in his body where he used to before. I don't think he's able to control the narrative in his body. Like he's been trying to control the narrative in our public ears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just can't do it anymore his body's breaking mm, mm. oh and i see it's interesting you know who i see i see the woman that everyone used to say oh she's mrs doubtfire susie wiles <laughs> and she's sort of like acting as the head nurse like the big nurse in charge of him kind of like but not that she's nursing technically nursing meaning but it's just saying okay mr trump go back to bed not the time i'll call you i'll wake you up when it's the time to talk that he like kind of yeah, I say controlling him. Kind of yes, yes. Like remember that nurse that I had seen pushing him around with the old oh, fashioned nurse uniform on, and she whispered in his ear. She was mocking him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. He's he's very low. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay. So and, and you know what? I'm sorry. I want to say one more thing about that. Mm-hmm. as we're watching that it's mm-hmm. very logical to see that in him he's not in charge mm-hmm. look mm-hmm. at the man he was or tried to be when he was in charge he's not in charge right now you can see it you can see it in his demeanor his behavior his mannerisms mm-hmm. who's around him who's doing the talk you can see he's not in charge mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's right that makes sense that makes sense Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, you know, but you know, okay, Karina, do we, uh, you know what? Can we ask, do we ask? Because I then he, the next question is the preparation for the transition. You no, know, because technically, what is that? How is that going? Does it make sense? I, I, I'm still kind of like, I mean, I know, I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm interested. Oh, you know what I want to know is like, are they aware that the thing is in? Does it make sense to what I'm saying, Corinna? Yes. Are they That's just? That's why acting? they're pushing it. That's why they're right. pushing it because oh, okay. it's both the crime and Trump's health. You can only, you know, prop up Bernie so many times. So they're getting it's the oh, cumulative point, okay. the okay. cumulative point that we're all reaching in every aspect of this. This mm-hmm. is one of them. His health is failing to the point of people are, are going to notice it. If we mm-hmm. already have already, but it's not going to be good in the future when all this stuff starts coming out. And then on top of it, they're frantic because they know the crime was committed. Mm-hmm. So they got to keep him, you know, upright long enough to get inaugurated and it's still him up the way and panic is ensuing. I mean, I can just wow. feel it. This is what's happening. They're all starting to panic because the timeline for them isn't matching up like it is for us. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. All right. So, okay. Yeah. So, so that's good. No, that's good. So I agree. That's good. Yeah. So no, that's great. It's very clear. It clarifies. Okay. So now let's see here now. I'm going to share because I'll, okay. So this week for Elon and JD, so we put him in the, both, both of them in the same category because we know that in some ways, JD Vance is apparently working behind the scenes to try to confirm, get the, uh, the Trump's fix confirmed, which sounds like a good fit for his skill set. While Elon is, of course, acting like he is the president or much closer to Trump than than a JD Vance, for example. So, just curious, what is going on with it? Both of their weeks, given their the the prominent roles they play in the Trump ticket, 
I think Elon's going to become more bombastic with his tweets. Mm -mm. And yet there's still, I still get the sense of, you know, news silence, but I think Elon is going to get more erratic and we're going to be able to witness obviously more of that. JD Vance again, I mean, he, at this time, always comes up as inconsequential and for me when I try to get more mm. it's like he's being run over by Elon he's being used by Peter Thiel he's being used by Trump he's just which direction do I go in who do I report to who's using me it's, he's just not a main thing right now mm -hmm. so he's just still the puppet for Elon helping them get the picks that they think they're gonna get okay okay what okay. do you pick up so it's interesting because I saw that and for some reason they showed me like, I don't know, Tuesday somehow. I don't, I don't know why it feels like Tuesday, but I see that on that day, I see Elon collapsed on his own vomit. <laughs> and like, like, Word vomit. And someone, like on the floor. But you know how that usually whenever the, whenever I read stuff like this or crime show, it's like a person has died, like they have a uh, uh, asphyxiated but he's not dead but it yeah. just shows that he had a, a, I think a crash you know how how uh, Quinn and I were talking about how the news were saying that um, like that he is what's the word like not the news the, on Twitter they, uh, people observe that he tweeted 125 times on one evening or something so he's very manic and it showed yes. to me feel like he's on a bender, like he hasn't slept because of the drugs and the man mania, whatever. He's, uh, and then he's like, look, like, and it's like, oh, where's Elon? And so go get, and he's on the floor. And I see that the the shirt has all, like, there's vomit, every, like, not everywhere, but he's like around him and he's his clothing. And then someone's like, hey, Elon, maybe time to take a shower, man. Like, he's <laughs> so, it's kind of sad because for somebody who's so powerful and has so much money, he has so little, like, I don't explain it. Like, he doesn't care. For, like, he's not well. It's obvious he's not well. When you dance with the devil, mm -hmm. you usually aren't. Oh, that's right. And then I see that he's not, he's like this. And then I see that towards the end of the week, for some reason, I feel like towards the end of the week, I see the face of Putin finally starting to publicly shame. You know how I've said before that I think <laughs> Putin's not happy with him and he's going to start to want to burn him. Mm -hmm. And that's when I see some comment from Putin or it's understood to come from him kind of being really cold and mean towards Elon. And Elon's like, oh, mm. he doesn't, again, because he's all about himself, he doesn't get it, what it means really, that the danger he's really in. So he's just like, oh, but, and then I see that he's like, well, but I got the election done anyway, right? And I want to know, I think it's even impossible that he could be like, why are you guys complaining? I got the election for you. <laughs> and it, because I think that Elon's ego is so funny that he's like, you know, at the end of the day, he's like, well, even if this goes down, I want, he wants to get the credit for it. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to say, I'm the one who got the American election put in. Not mm -hmm. you. Not you. No. When I think that's not true, but, but he's gonna, that's and it's saying That's, well, and that does kind of match what we got earlier a couple of weeks ago, how Putin was going to start mm -hmm. bringing down, making Elon like a, a Leon, the face of the down, because That's all this stuff is going to come out around the world heading towards Putin, but he's got to deflect. He's going to have to deflect somehow. That's mm -hmm. what they always do. They always deflect. That's so true. little old Leon's going to be the, 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 the recipient of that.
That's right. So it's new for him. And I see that he starts feeling this burn, like that he hasn't like how he kind of knows he hasn't won. That it doesn't feel like winning to him, like the way that things are going. It doesn't feel like. <laughs> right. Like I think he, his body language will tell you that his face, mm -hmm. his body language, what mm -hmm. he's saying, what he's tweeting, how he's acting. Yes. No, he. that's not a, that's not anything of a person that's one. Hmm. Oh, and yeah. then I see when it's funny. I'm I'm I didn't really expect it to be so long ago about Elon. But since I've followed his business lies or whatever shenanigans, remember how there was a moment a few years ago when he, the, the SEC investigated him for that when he announced, oh I'm gonna take my company private for X amount. And I remember and and then and then it, it turns out that of course it wasn't true. He had made it up. And it tells me that the election, in his mind, it's the same MO where he lies about something and then he, people have to he kind of catch up. He'll find a way to catch up with the truth mm -hmm. later. So it mm -hmm. just tells us, no, Elon, it's just what you've done before in just a, diff a different scale, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You just believe it and don't worry about it. It's going to come out fine. He doesn't, right? So he knows that it's, yeah. it's but it's slipping to the audience, to the world that it's not. Legit. Right. And, and he's to, about to find out that he screwed right. up with the most one of the most powerful men. That's right. That's right. And so, you don't you don't mess with right. that. That's right. So so that was interesting. Now, as far as JD Vance, it's interesting. I just get that he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, 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 <laughs> there's nothing. And I yeah. see that it's interesting. You know, he has the told tells me that he has no real power mm -mm. in the sense that he doesn't get to appoint anybody. He doesn't He's just like a, I guess a puppet really is the word for him. Mm -hmm. The puppet. Mm -hmm. He doesn't yeah. do anything. I mean, I think it does do the stuff that nobody else wants to do, which is like, hey, confirm this guy or not or something. But it's not really the job of somebody who would be the VP, it's saying. He's just, in the, it's almost as if he's been demoted because the things he's, he's doing are not very high level. So, but he's not upset about it. It's just, it is, like you said, he's, he knows yeah. oh, who's going to, who needs me now? Yeah, so, he's just being shoved around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow, interesting. So, okay. So now to the next topic. Um, this week for Putin and NATO, since they're connected <laughs> at this moment. So, <laughs> hold on. Wow. I got <laughs> okay. We both said wow at the same time. <laughs> Go ahead. No, it's uh, at first I see that Putin is like, oh. and then he's like <laughs> trying to press the button for missiles, and the buttons don't work. Like Mister Trump, Mister Putin, he's <laughs> like, what was what's the what, what is it? Where is the press button? Where it not working? Press the button, not working. That one. It, it's in it's in the garage. You know they they were Fisher Price store. That's right. It's like they're refurbishing. It will, it will come back in about four months. In four months. <laughs> it's really. Four months. And he's like, okay. And then I see the next, it juxtaposes with NATO that has, and I see that the entire NATO is surrounding, I guess, Russia or whatever. Like, not the entire, because it's a big country, but all these big missiles and all like they're mm -hmm. surrounding. He's basically surrounded. Mm -hmm. and he's pretending like he's like here. No, I have pressing here that song. That song. <laughs> and then he's pretending like he's like, no, I'm just like this. But NATO is all around. It mm -hmm. points them everywhere. But it's saying that it show is showing me Putin, but it's saying it's actually all of the assets. So it could be different submarines, different things all over mm -hmm. the wherever they are. Mm -hmm. oh, somebody did send me something, somebody from from Denmark, by the way, she sent me something. Remember that that the Danish Navy had intercepted that, mm -hmm. that ship. That's and right. Putin was saying that the ship is still there, and that now there's Germany, Sweden, NATO, and all these other countries have their ships around, kind of like as if to say, <laughs> we're, "We're watching you, huh? How's What's it going? up, bitches?" <laughs> so, so it's yeah. similar. So this is the vibe I get that he's like, yeah. But it's saying that NATO has, it's so big in comparison. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. That they're ready, and I see they're ready to shoot is what I get. They're ready to go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I picked up the power of NATO is what I picked up. Oh. And I live in an area where I can hear the jets from a nearby Air Force base. And a lot of times those jets take off four at a time. And oh. I can, and I'm very sensitive to sound frequency, that kind of thing. Things. So mm -hmm. I feel the power of those jets when they take off. And that's the power that I feel behind NATO wow. this week. Okay. They are extremely powerful and they're going to use their power. Mm. That's right. So now they're saying they're ready, like they're ready to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So the final uh, slide today is this week, what to expect in terms of news. I, don't know, I still get little tiny, like little slivers of the moon, just little things. I don't feel maybe at the end or the beginning of next week, but I feel like drip, drip. Mm. Mm. I hope I'm, I hope I'm wrong on that one, but I almost feel like it's a quiet mm. week. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I see as somebody, I, Oh, you know, he looks like to me. That's with the praise of somebody. And I was like, it's the guy with the little glasses. Who is that? Who is that? It's the UK minister. Oh, that's right. There's the Monday meeting of NATO. That's right. Because I see him giving a speech. And it's the British minister of, of is it not defense? So something. It's to, foreign minister, I think, is the, the British foreign minister giving a speech about this whole thing. And it, but everything that is happening is happening behind the scenes it's not the time yet to, for that it's not going to come out yet it's saying mm -hmm. that nato is preparing and then i see actually some may there may be some arrests of those people that are kind of involved in the election or another but everything's secret like nothing that we know of yet right or raids or whatever you call it right but mm -hmm. nothing. and then and then and then I, and i see granted because as many have pointed out the next week the dates that we have, by the way, um, the Cosmic Owl, right? We have watched their videos yes. a lot, so it's so happy to to get it from them. Like to get the dates, they 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 repeat the dates, so it's good because I don't remember dates very well. So mm -hmm. right, too, you got a lot from them, their videos too. So, but I yeah. remember the person saying something like the sixth, the sixth of December to the fifteenth. And when you think about it, I know that Sunday is the first of of December. Then two, three, four, five, six. That's Friday. So Friday of next week. It's already close, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think we're getting close. We have right? to be. No, not not no. Okay, not so. We have Thanksgiving. The other week, because we're talking about this this week that we're talking about is uh, until yeah. the end this of week's the kind of quiet. Yeah, ends on December first. But, yeah. but right after the next week is when things really pop up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and starting really the big action starts in the week after. So mm -hmm. that's what, that's 10 days. Is that right? 10? Yeah. Oh, wait, it doesn't seem like a lot, but. No, it doesn't. I mean, it seems like forever, but it doesn't seem like a lot. And just what you said, cosmic owl astrology has been lining up exactly with, you know, dates what we've seen instances we've seen people that they've been talking about mm -hmm. match up to what we've seen and mm -hmm. they explain it so well very logically so if you haven't taken a peek at them go take a peek and mm -hmm. it really does kind of match up to mm -hmm. what we're still seeing that's right that's right so wow okay okay yeah and i still get that song there's a kind of hush all over the world so mm -hmm. i still think we're in that phase Mm. And then, no, it's good, but it feels. I feel warm. I I like it. I feel like remember what right after the election, it's like what what the hell, what the hell. But then it it feels like things are building up, and soon enough, because we have the holidays, and then after that, we have here in the U.S. right the things in holidays, and then the week okay, after, at the very started. end of next week, it starts. Mm -hmm. God willing. Okay, so that's and good. That's good. Yep. Defense. Yep. All right, so so news. thanks for watching and um, stay and, calm. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll come back on Monday, the day you know tomorrow, right? Yes.
and okay. yes. that breath yeah. out. Well, all right. right. We'll see everybody on Monday. Yes. I'll see you guys. Okay. Blow as much air out as you can. Take another breath in. Hold it. Blow the breath out. All the way out. As much as you can. One more breath in. Hold it. And release. Clear your mind. Take a minute, clear everything that's in there. And now take yourself to Inauguration Day. Fully immerse yourself in Inauguration Day. The excitement that you feel leading up to the event. Where are you going to be? Who are you going to celebrate with? What are you going to wear? Feel it all. Feel the excitement of planning that with your loved ones or your friends or just yourself. Take time to put that image in your mind. Feel what it feels like to get ready. What are you going to wear? Pick out the outfit. Feel the excitement of the evening. Feel the gratitude. Feel the love. Take yourself to the event. Picture Kamala Harris up on the inauguration stage. What does that feel like to you? In your heart? In your gut? Such gratitude, such love, so exciting. It's energetic. It's so powerful. And you can feel that in every fiber of your being. And allow yourself to feel it. Immerse yourself in it. And stay there as long as you like. Picture all of the events that can be happening at the same time. All the celebrations around the whole world celebrating this event. Just run through it all in your mind. As slow as you want. As fast as you want. Only picture Kamala Harris being inaugurated as our new president. Rosie's Vision, Kamala Harris Inauguration, AI Voice, November 24, 2024 I observe electoral justice in America, and I am delighted to see it. Today is the time. The time has come. I know what my gut has felt, all along, is the truth. Kamala Harris is, and was, elected the 47th president. I now observe the Kamala Harris inauguration happening in real life and in real time. I observe the truth about the election coming out for the world to see. I observe headlines across the world. Kamala Harris is the 47th American president. I observe Kamala Harris leading the USA as voters wanted. I observe the dark entities who have first appeared to have deceived the world, now unmasked, exposed, and indicted. I observe the world in peace and in awe of what has transpired. 
the light has won. When doubt about this event enters my mind, I remind myself to remain grounded. Deep down I know and I see, Kamala's inauguration happening in front of my eyes. Kamala Harris is the 47th president. I observe myself watching her inauguration. I observe Kamala making a beautiful speech saying, We have survived, America. At the inauguration, Beyoncé is singing the freedom song Kamala used on her campaign. Kamala is pledging the oath of office. Kamala Harris, the 47th president, pledges allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. I observe Kamala's husband Doug, by her side. I observe her stepchildren, Ella and Cole, next to her. I observe her sister Maya and her brother-in-law Tony, sitting on chairs looking at the thousands of people who have come for the inauguration. Michelle and Barack Obama are present. Joe and Jill Biden rejoice. I observe Tim Walls, the elected VP, with his wife Gwen and his son Gus and his daughter Hope. They are all crying with heartfelt joy. Bo Biden, Kamala's friend and Joe Biden's son, rejoices in spirit. Kamala's mother, Shyamala Gopalan, blesses her from heaven. And so it is.